And now to sh share with us the excitement of Chemtai, Mike Tellum, the Chief Marketing Officer. Please come and join us, Mike. So uh oh, we're, doing available thing we're, we're again. half covered. Okay. All right. We're going to get more personal here very, very quickly. Yeah. Uh, Hi, everybody. I mean, exercise is something which is important to me lately. I've actually been punishing myself and doing it, and it seems to actually be doing good things for me. Uh, I have a trainer, and you're telling me that with your company, we can begin to actually get trained by using your AI-driven auto or robo-trainer? Yeah, exactly. So with Kemtai, uh, you can exercise at home as if a personal trainer was right there with you. Uh, you can choose the trainers that you want. Uh, later on, we'll also uh, provide a capability for trainers to have virtual instances in Kemtai. And once you choose a trainer and a workout, Kemtai can actually see you. So it guides you through the workout and tells you how to improve. So if you have half an hour, you want to be more effective, right? Uh, you want to do the proper movements, and Kemtai does that for you. So wait a minute. Rather than talk about it, let's bring up uh, Dr. Naomi Karen, yep. who happens to be the chief product officer. She is a brilliant technologist and also a trainer. Yeah, she's also so a personal she's trainer. She's the full package, as it yeah. were. And we're going to now show you how Kemtai works. Let's do it. <laughs> Hi, Naomi. Yeah. OK, virtual. Yeah, and what she's going to do, so you're already seeing the UI for Kemtai, and uh, Naomi's going to choose one of the exercises. And this is the alpha version that's going to be coming out soon, in a couple of weeks. And you'll get a glimpse of what it's like to work out at home and get the actual feedback. So you'll see Naomi walking backwards, uh, and now Kemtai can actually identify her skeleton and see exactly what she's doing and the way that she's moving. I can see you. Kemtai is telling her that she can see her now, Spread and we'll see her exercise. Spread your feet at shoulder width. Keep knees parallel. Press your weight back into your heels. Straighten your back while squatting. And now the exercise is going to start. Three, two, one, go. Keep your legs parallel. <laughs> yeah. Don't give up. You're doing great. <laughs> nice one. Now she's getting scored for each specific repetition and for the whole exercise and workout. So go ahead. You can. And she gets the Stand performance scores, so she can compare it to how she's been doing side. last week. She can Three, see how she's two, improving her performance, one, and go. she can also compete with others. So we can have an exercise at the same time. It works a little bit slowly now because of the, uh, because of the lighting, I think. Yeah. Bring your hands you in closer. Ahead. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so this is the Don't alpha stop. version. Uh, I was working like a minute ago. Look, but, this, this uh, is a, a, a brand new startup that yeah, we're investing yeah. in. As, uh, I, I made some comments um, recently to the press, and we're going to be talking about it a lot tomorrow, that we're going to be focusing on early stage companies because we believe that the next decade is going to belong to these incredible breakthroughs. Taking AI and driving it into the exercise market is huge. It's going to take you a while to get this right. I mean, you're, you've made a lot of progress. The, your partner is CEO is a guy named uh, Dr. Moore Amitai. That's correct. And I have a little bit of a history with Moore. He was the CEO of a company I invested in when I was a young VC called CompuGen, which was the world leader Tilt, move and backwards. still is in many ways in Great. Uh, bioinformatics. I can see you. And your team is extraordinary in terms of your ability Spread your feet at to develop. Width. Okay, now you'll show us? Keep knees okay. parallel. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Go lower. Keep your feet facing So, again, like we said, and the, the skeleton even gets highlights for the areas that she needs improvement in. Just a few and more. And in this way, people feel more engaged. The whole Keep home workout becomes straight. more fun. Keep your feet and it's a huge forward. market for us. So. Now, is there somebody in the audience who would like to try this out? Noam, do we have a, uh, you know, someone, does someone actually wants to Three, try? Can we take two, a, uh, one, did I see a hand over there? Okay, wait a minute. Can I, we, we do something nice. completely random, okay? No, no pre-picked people. Come on up. If you want to exercise a little bit. Yeah. We're not going to charge you. We might ask you to invest. Bring your sneakers, yeah. 
okay? All right, and cool. join cool. us up on stage. This is what's called calling, come up this way on the right. Oh, she's doing it. She's okay. all into fitness. She wanted to jump the whole thing. All right. Hold small weights in your hands. Yeah. Bend your knees. Yes. Lift hands up to 180 degrees and move back yeah. to hips. Lower your hands. Keep your hands straight while lifting up. And get ready. Three. Three, two, one, go. Squat while raising your arms. Very nice. Raise arms no higher than shoulder. Raise left arm no higher than shoulder. Raise right arm no higher than shoulder. Raise arms no higher than shoulders. <laughs> Raise left arm no higher than shoulder. Raise yeah. right arm no higher than shoulder height. Very nice. So, okay, Ronnie, good job. I mean, this is the first time ever that this company has taken its stuff on the road. And they're brave Stand people. This is width. going to get better and better because it's AI. Yeah, right? so this continues to learn from everybody that actually exercises on it. So as people use it more and more, we'll become more precise and add more and more exercises and more and more workouts uh, for people to do whatever they want, whether it's uh, high intensity training, Pilates, yoga, Anything uh, is possible. How big is this market? I mean, is this like a monster market also? Yeah, so digital fitness today is more than $100 billion. Uh, if you think about it, since the days of Jane Fonda and people buying bikes, putting in the house and putting clothes on them. So this is a huge market. Digital fitness has uh, even advanced it further. Uh, we can see some of the names here. Uh, but almost everything out there can basically just count what you're doing, count miles or steps. Right. I mean, Peloton, it. you know, had a recent IPO. It's become a quite significant yeah. company, but they don't have anything like this, right? I mean, no, what so Peloton is great execution, as people have mentioned here, uh, but they can't see you. They don't. You can actually sit on the Peloton bike and drink a cup of coffee. It will still do the same things, right? So it shows that people are willing to spend a lot on feeling better, looking better, being healthier, but none of these things can actually see what you're doing. And um, how are you going to go to market? Are you going to make this available as an app? Are you going to work with other partners? What's, what's your idea? So this will be available as an app and directly via your browser. We're going directly to consumers, uh, to home users, uh, using uh, digital marketing. With this alpha is going to be released? Can our, well, how quickly can our people put their hands on this? Uh, in a couple of weeks. Really? Yeah, we actually already have about 6,000 people waitlisted that have answered some of our early test campaigns and, uh, uh, from US and Europe that want to try this out. There's a lot of interest in this because people are looking for like, the next best thing in fitness. And you'll be also willing to work with other corporations where they can integrate this technology into their product lines? Yeah, that's, that's a possibility. You know, we've already had, with the help of our crowd, so some uh, players uh, you know, that make TVs, for instance, have <laughs> approached us. So that's definitely one of the directions. But we want to make sure that Kimtai gets to people's homes and helps them exercise and that it's personalized and adaptive because this can actually change the workout based on how well you're doing. So if I had to ask you, where are you going to be 10, 10 years from now, right? In other words, if you try to look forward to 2030. Yeah. So, you know, all three of us have had startups before. I sold the company a few years back, uh, and I didn't think it about that company. But with Kemtai, this can very easily be a, a, a billion-dollar company and more because the market is huge. Two-thirds of, of the Western world either exercises or wants to exercise. Uh, so we have a huge market. We are a very experienced team. Uh, and there's very cool and challenging technology. Are you the first to be using AI in this way, in the exercise market? I wouldn't say that we're the first. There have been some attempts mainly focused on a lot of hardware. You had to buy some very expensive processing power to actually make this work or have uh, very specific uh, devices. I think we're the first that are getting uh, uh, to the market and with something that provides such a great experience. We are looking forward to being part of this story at Chemtai. Mike Tellum from Chemtai. Thank Chem you very Tai. much. Thank you very much. Bye, thank you.